Good morning everyone, how are you? Today we have to complete our lesson which is Lesson 3 Relative Position of Two Lines in the Plane Are you ready? Let's start! First, let's correct our homework The practice page 33 Let's give a given line Draw two lines D1 and D2 parallel to D and at the distance of 3 cm from D then we have to use the ruler to measure 3 cm, right? Then we have to put the first point here on 0. I will use the ruler one more time to put another point. Then we join them. Down, the same. We have to put the ruler on the line D, like this, and the point on the 3 cm. The same on 3 cm, the second point. Then we join the two points like this. The name of the first one is D1 and the name of the second one is D2. The question is, what is the relative position of D1 with respect to D2? They are parallel. Excellent. Why? Because D1 is parallel to D and D2 is parallel to D. So D1 and D2 are parallel. Now, let's solve together activity I, page 34, parallel drawn from a point to a line. Think and answer. To draw the line D1 that passes through A and that is parallel to the line D, we have two steps to do. The first one, we have to draw a line D perpendicular to D. A line D, capital D, perpendicular to the line D, small d, okay? Then... First, we have to put our set square like this in the front of the line and I will draw a line perpendicular to the line D. The name of this one is capital D. Then, draw the line D1 passing through A and perpendicular to the line D that I make it. Now, we have to put our set square in the front of the line D, capital D, okay? Let's put it. And the second side of the set square in front of the point A. Excellent. Now we have to make the first part of the parallel line. So we elongate it. Are the lines D1 and D parallel? Where is the line D1? Excellent. This is the line D1 that I make it right now. And this is the line D. They are parallel? Yes, of course. Why? Because D, the capital D, is perpendicular to D1 and also it's perpendicular to D. So they are parallel. We have to write it like this. Yes, since capital D perpendicular to D1 and capital D also perpendicular to D, so D1 and D are parallel. Is there another line that passes through A and that is parallel to D? Of course not. Then the answer is no. Now you have as a homework to solve the practice page 34. In exercise number one we have by free hand without set square, okay? Place a point B so that the lines A, B, and D are parallel. Look at the squares here. You have to count how many squares are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we have to count 5 squares like this to put the point B. Then we join A and B together. Okay? Draw through the point O the line UV parallel to XY. By using the set square, you have to use the same way as the activity mess. You have first to draw a perpendicular line to XY. Then you have to draw a perpendicular line to the line that you draw it right now. And then passing through the point O. Okay? And you get two parallel lines. Okay? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.